The American author Alice Siebold has apologized for her part in the conviction of a man exonerated last week of raping her in 1981. In a statement, she said she was struggling with the role she played within what she called a system that sent an innocent man to jail. The events formed the basis of her memoir in which she described being raped and later telling police she'd seen a black man in the street whom she believed was her attacker. Anthony Broadwater was arrested and convicted on flawed evidence. He spent 16 years in prison. A North America correspondent, David Willis, explained the details. Well, in actual fact, Alice Seabold's memoir, Lucky, may have indirectly led to Anthony Broadwater's exoneration because Lucky was being turned into a film when the executive director of that film started to question, as the process went on, certain details, not relating to the assault itself, but to do with the investigation and the subsequent trial. He brought in a private investigator. The in uh, investigator to discover that things simply didn't add up and recommended that to the evidence be referred to a lawyer and that led last week to Anthony Broadwater's exoneration. Now, um, his conviction in the first place was based on him being identified in court by Alice Siebold and by some subsequently proved to be flawed forensic evidence. Now, today, Alice Siebold explained why it's taken her more than a week to actually respond to Anthony Broadwater's exoneration. She said, it's taken me these past eight days to comprehend how this could have happened. I I will continue to struggle with the role that I unwittingly played within a system that sent an innocent man to jail. And uh, she added, uh, tellingly perhaps, as a uh, traumatized 18-year-old rape victim, I chose to put my faith in the American legal system. And this undoubtedly furthers the case of uh, those who argue uh, that um, people of color very often do not get a fair trial in the United States and do not uh, uh, get a favorable outcome uh, as far as the law is concerned.